What is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can find me on Twitter at No More Parties. And happy Thanksgiving to all the boys, the girls, everyone else out there. This week we're back with another Thursday Night Football Prize Picks video. This time with a three-game slate for Thanksgiving. Uh, our first, I think it's our first multi-game slate of the season. Last week I think we went two and three, sitting at like. 70%, maybe 67% uh, hit rate on the season on these prop bets, but let's get into it. Because of the three game slate, I'm going to do the main five for the five by five flex play, and then I'm going to do five honorable mentions. Usually I have two between zero and two. This time I'll have five, so. The first line I like in the the main 5x5 five five is Stefan Diggs, 89.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 103.3 receiving yards per game this season and has hit this line in 7 out of 10 games. And the Lions give up the third most receiving yards per game to wide receivers. A.J. Brown got him for 155. Uh, D.K. Metcalf and Tyler Lockett in the same game had 149 and 91. Jacoby Myers went for 111. Tyreek and Waddle in the same game, 188 and 106. Alan Lazard had 87. In the same game, Wandale Robinson had 100, while Darius Slayton had 86. Like, they're, they're getting carved up. Stephon Diggs is one of the best receivers in the league. I like him to go over this line on Thanksgiving. The next line I like is Saquon Barkley, 76 and a half rushing yards. I like the over again. He's averaging 95.3 rushing yards per game this season and has hit 77 plus in six out of his 10 games. And the Cowboys are top 10 or bottom 10, whatever, in most rushing yards given up to running backs. They're eighth in the league, giving up rushing yards to running backs per game. And even since like Dak came back where they're scoring more points and, and these games aren't as like close as they have been for opposing offenses, even since Dak came back, like teams have been running on them. Jamal Williams had 79 yards. Khalil Herbert and David Montgomery had 99 and 53 in the same game. Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon had 138 and 65 in the same game. Dalvin Cook had 72 last week. And in three of those games were, were times when Dallas won by at least 18 points. So it's not like, e even if this game gets away from the Giants a little bit, like it has for these, you know, kind of like the Lions um, got killed. I think the Vikings lost by like 37 points. These teams are still running on Dallas, even in negative game script. So I think Saquon can hit this line even if this turns out to be a blowout in favor of the Cowboys. Um, the next line I like is Tony Pollard, 66 and a half rushing yards. He's averaging 70.1 per game this season and has hit this line in six out of 10 games, including each of his last four. And yeah, Zeke's been in and out of the lineup for those four games. I think he missed two of those, played like 35% or fewer of the snaps in the other two. But the Giants give up the fifth most rushing yards per game to running backs. And Pollard is like entirely capable of going for 67 or more rushing yards on fewer than like 15 carries. Like if Zeke is going to play and have a large role in this offense, Pollard can still hit this line. He's done it five times this season getting 67 or more rushing yards on fewer than 15 carries. And four of those games had Zeke in the lineup. So it's not like he he needs to have the backfield to himself in order to hit this line. And actually 14, he's, he's got 14 career games with 67 or more rushing yards. He averages 12.6 carries in those games and had 15 or more carries in just two of those games. So workload concerns with Zeke back, you know, whatever. This isn't a very high line for a guy who's been playing really well lately. I like Tony Pollard to get 66 and a half rushing yards over that this game. The fourth line I like is Jacoby Myers, 50.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 63.6 per game this season and has hit this over in six out of his eight games. And the Vikings give up the second most receiving yards per game to wide receivers. It's pretty much that simple. Jacoby Myers has been productive this year. He's been consistent this year. And the Vikings are getting thrown on all over the place. So Jacoby Myers, 50.5 receiving yards. I like the over. The last line of this 5x5 five five is TJ Hawkinson fantasy points, 10.0. I like the over. He's averaging 12 fantasy points per game since joining the Vikings, what, like three, four weeks ago now? And he's hit this line in two of three games with the Vikings. And the only game in which he didn't hit this line was last week when he had 8.4 PPR points while dropping a, a, a target like right at the goal line. So he could have had a touchdown, another reception, another like five yards on top of that. And he just like happened to drop that play. But the point is like he's he's been productive and he's been getting a lot of opportunity. He's averaging 9.3 targets per game in Minnesota and the only players in the entire league with more targets over the last three weeks than TJ Hawkinson are Devontae Adams, Travis Kelsey, Justin Jefferson, Stefan Diggs, and DeAndre Hopkins. That's that's those are five of the most elite receivers plus a tight end 
in the entire league, TJ Hawkinson is the next guy on the list as far as being the most targeted player in the league over the last three weeks. And the Pats are bottom 10 in the NFL in fantasy points allowed to tight end. So it's a decent little matchup here. He's been productive lately. He, he's basically three for three on this line in three games with the Vikings other than dropping a touchdown. So I like Hawkinson to go over 10 fantasy points this week. So that so that's the uh, the initial five by five. Diggs over on receiving yards. Barkley over on rushing yards. Pollard over on rushing yards. Myers over on receiving yards. Hawkinson over on fantasy points. The next five, honorable mention, five by five, number two, whatever you want to call it. The first line I like there is Mac Jones, 22.5 passing yards. I like the over here. He's averaging 228.8 per game this season and has hit this line in half of his games. He's played six games, hit this line in three of them, but the Vikings are allowing the second most passing yards per game and opposing quarterbacks have hit this line in eight out of 10 games against Minnesota and opposing quarterbacks are aver- are actually averaging 284 passing yards per game against the Vikings. That's like what, 68 yards of wiggle room on this line for Mac Jones. He's been more productive than this this season. The Vikings are not a great pass defense. Things are lining up for this to be a nice little Mac Jones day. The second line is Dalvin Cook, 17 fantasy points. I like the under, actually. He's averaging 15.7 fantasy points per game this season, but he's only hit this line in three out of his 10 games, and he's actually got two games this season in which he scored a touchdown and still not hit this line. So it's not even like, oh, if he scores a touchdown, we're fucked. It's not really touchdown or bust here. It could be touchdown and bust. And the Patriots give up the fewest fantasy points to running backs, but things aren't looking good for Dalvin Cook this week. Uh, The third line I like is Kirk Cousins, 0.5 interceptions. I like the over. Kirk has eight picks in 10 games this season and has thrown a pick in half of his games. The Pats defense didn't pick off any passes last week. It sounds like a like Peter Piper picked a pepper. But before that, they had at least one interception in eight straight games. And overall, they're averaging the fifth most interceptions per game in the league and have at least one pick in eight out of their 10 games. So they didn't have a pick in week one, didn't have a pick last week, but every other game, they have at least one interception. Kirk has eight on the season. This looks like a game where Kirk Cousins would throw an interception. The fourth line I like as part of this second five by five or honorable mentions is Josh Allen, 42 and a half rushing yards. I like the over. He's averaging 48.3 rushing yards per game this season, and he's hit this line in six out of his 10 games, including three games above 70 yards and another game over 55 yards, 56 yards, I think, in that game. And the Lions give up the most rushing yards per game to quarterbacks in the entire NFL. That stat in particular, I think, kind of mostly has to do with just the quarterbacks they've played, but it, it it's happened, and we know Josh Allen can run, so it's better than if they weren't giving up any, you know, rushing yards to quarterbacks. So he's a running quarterback. He's been hitting this number. Quarterbacks have been running all over the Lions. Check, check. I like Josh Allen to go over 42 and a half rushing yards. And the last prop I like here is Jamal Williams, 0.5 touchdowns from scrimmage. I like the over. Jamal Williams has 12 touchdowns this season in 10 games. So he's averaging more than a touchdown per game. And he scored in six out of 10 games. He has 19 carries inside the five yard line this season, which is easily the most in the league. Second place is Joe Mixon with 15. Then we got Derrick Henry with 11. Then we got Saquon Barkley and Leonard Fournette both have 10. Nobody else is in the double digits. So even like what the third and fourth place guys are almost have almost half of what Jamal Williams has as far as, as you know, carries inside the five yard line. He's just getting fed when the Lions get close to the goal line. The Bills are exactly middle of the road. Uh, they're 16th in the league as far as like giving up touchdowns to running backs. But if the Lions get near the goal line even one time in this game, I would bet on a Jamal Williams touchdown, like even versus the field. Like he has more, he has as many touchdowns from the five yard line and in than the rest of the Lions team combined. Like if they get close to the goal line, it's probably a Jamal Williams touchdown. I would imagine they get close to the goal line at some point in this game. He's been a touchdown machine. I like him to score on Thanksgiving. So that's the second five by five. Mac Jones over passing yards. Dalvin Cook under fantasy points. Kirk Cousins over on picks. Josh Allen over rushing yards. Jamal Williams scoring a touchdown. There you have it. A uh, double dose for you on uh, Thanksgiving. I should have made a pun about getting uh, seconds, but I don't know. I have nothing else to say. Uh, Hopefully you enjoy some excellent quality time with your families. Have a great uh, holiday and see you next week. Peace.